Hi guys, uh, what I've been noticing at the Buddha centers is like uh, many of you have are not doing the kettlebell swing which is a basic phenomenal movement properly. Many are uh, rounding the back or the, the thrust is coming from a different places. Yeah? So what we're going to do today is um, try to relearn how to do it well and try to avoid the mistakes as much as possible. Because uh, kettlebell swing is one of the fundamental movements which will help you develop the strength. In the human body, most of the strength is derived from the pelvic region. Now, the pelvic region, the two best exercises for this is, one is power clean, which is technically harder to uh, do. And the other is kettlebell swing, which is actually easier. The one thing you have to understand about the kettlebell is that uh, you don't have to go with your ego, just try to get the most uh, low to moderate weight and we have a uh, variety of weights so let's make it start with four or eight kilos to start with so okay now uh, you're supposed to hold it with both the hands and before you start the kettlebells uh, the swing so you're supposed to hike it hike it means getting the momentum of the kettlebell this is you have to do it one two and three and then the third one you start with the hip thrust kettlebell swing is a hip thrust movement so I'm just, I'm just going to do the single one, but I think imagine it's a double one. So when you're doing it from the posterior, the butt has to squeeze every time you throw the kettlebell up. There's a squeeze of the butt as forcefully as possible. And you know when you take it up, this is a straight line. So you have to maintain a straight line over here, and this is a straight line. So two straight lines. Yep, two straight lines. So when you take it up, just in two straight lines. So what happens is when you are, when uh, when the weight which is eight kilos, when it's going that way, so when it's going that direction, it increases its weight simply because of the gravitational force and everything else by more than two times. Okay, so you're not trying to lift it up. Understand something? Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not lifting it up. I'm not trying to lift it up. I'm trying to throw it over there. So if you see this this pelvis is in that direction in that direction so uh, because of the rope you know, the hands are like ropes I'm not lifting it with my hands they're like ropes because of the rope it ends up over here and it's in this direction okay but I'm actually trying to throw it over this line from so if I was not holding like if I was not holding it would go there straight above there not up here because I'm holding it is coming up here see that Holding is coming up here. Huh. Yeah, you're not supposed to do this. Nobody's supposed to do this. But the things to remember is when you're doing it is inhale and exhale on the way up. Exhale on the way up. Okay? So holding the abs and squeezing the bum and full extension from the knee. Full extension from the knee from the side. If you see it is a straight line. If you see it from the side, it will look like this. A straight line. So one line like this or line up at shoulder level. Okay guys, the common mistakes I see is uh, when you are doing the kettlebell, many people are just doing squatting. Squatting and you know, taking it up. So with the squat and lifting it up with the hand. So you don't, is the, the hand is never lifting it, neither is the squat. You're not squatting. You are not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do this. The second thing I see is there is too much rounding of the back while doing it. Yeah, while doing it all, all, all the time, so is yeah, this is curving, okay? So that is not the thing. It's a straight line, straight line back, but the back remains in new position and thrusting it forward, okay? So the rounding of the back which I see. The other thing which I see is uh, the hip thrust is not as hard as possible. At the same time, you are trying to do, yeah, the, on the way down, the kettlebell comes down with momentum. It, the kettlebell comes down with momentum. Not you're not trying to control the downward motion of the kettlebell. It is not. It's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to control it. It comes down. Okay. It's, if you're doing this, which is like too much of a gap between your groin and this, that means you're already wrong because you're leaning forward too much. Yeah, you're leaning forward too much and it's going down over there. So what I s always say is, you know, when you come, when you're standing straight. This is where it is, you know, your, imagine your palms are just below the zip line, zip, 
should be there only. Should be there. When it goes down also, it is there only. See that? It's here. Yeah? Not there. There is no daylight. There is not so much daylight. It is here. It's here. It is not a squat. There is no daylight. There is nothing. There is no. This is also not right. This is what it is. This. Two. And the third one. Take it off. Got it. Okay. Just so that you know, there are three colors over here. <laughs> three different weights. Three guys trying to get good buns. <laughs> so, the camera swing not only helps you overall, functional movement, great strength, and at the same time, you get great ass. The best way to do is to do the intro one, which is to understand how to do the camera swing properly. I would advise you, to, one of the sessions should be just the understanding the swing as well as possible, and then finding the right weight to be able to do approximately 20 reps, five times, which is like nearly 100 swings, okay? And that itself can be a session. 